United won, Everton won. Was that two points dropped or one point gained? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But David De Gea's absolute catastrophe of a mistake cancelled out by a wonderful goal, another goal from Bruno Fernandes in a 45 minutes where United were in, I would argue, absolute total control and a second half where United were far from in control. Everton really came back into that game. Over the course of the 90 minutes, one all was a fair result. And how any Everton fan is going to try and argue with me that Sigurdsson wasn't interfering in play considering he was sat between Calvert-Lewin and David De Gea in an offside position, regardless of whether it touched him, he was interfering in play. That was rightly disallowed. Ancelotti got a red card after the full-time whistle. All got a bit weird. But that game was pretty weird. David De Gea, man, there is absolutely no justifying what happened there with that mistake. It wasn't as if he had the ball, was given the ball and had a player on him immediately. He had like five, six seconds to take a look up, see what he wanted to do and just kick the ball against Calvert-Lewin. That is a Sunday league, a bad Sunday league goalkeeper's mistake, not David De Gea. And there's absolutely no justifying that. And it really has been a massive downward turn from him in the last 18 months. And with Dean Henderson doing so well at Sheffield United, I think questions really do have to be asked in the summer about David De Gea and his future at United. It's not just because of this individual mistake. It's because of what we've seen over the last 18 months. And it hasn't really gone away. But Bruno Fernandes, man, he's the leader that we've been waiting for. In a game there where... United had total domination of possession. We've seen that quite a lot in the last couple of years and we've had no penetration. Teams have sat slightly deeper, find it very easy to defend against us. Bruno took it upon himself, fired the shot in, snuck under Pickford, won all. He was the game changer again, where United needed him to be the most. And I thought he was going to score the winner Right at the end there, when the ball went over the top, Mata into Fernandez. He almost looked like he scuffed his shot and Pickford flew up a glove, a glove for it. And then it went to Igalo and I thought Igalo was going to get it. But he kind of scuffed his shot as well. Overall, I think a draw is a fair result from what happened in that game. I think most Everton fans will say the same with you. Although they might argue that they deserved that goal at the end there that was disallowed. But it's a massive game of two halves. I suppose it looked a little bit like United tired in that second half. Everton certainly came out a bit more than they did in that first half. Um, we didn't. It's not that we didn't cope with it, because defensively we did. I think Maguire was fantastic today. I think Maguire, as the season has gone on, has grown in confidence. And you certainly saw it in the first half when he's those drives out of defence. They're, the, they're the things I wanted to see from Maguire more of this season, and we're seeing that. But from the set pieces in that game, Everton looked dangerous. And Maguire was there with pretty much... Heading every single one of them out. Fair play to Maguire. You know, and had we not conceded that absolute scruffy, scruffy goal, would have been another game where we didn't concede. Our defence is looking a lot more confident. Our midfield is looking better now that McTominay's come in and added more into it, I think. Fred Matic today was probably the best midfielder, though. Aside from Bruno Fernandes, I think he's been absolutely fantastic in the last couple of months. Give credit to him. But United in that game is one of the most dominantly controlled first halves I've seen from United. And it's not just in the possession that we're doing, but it's in the movement of the players. Bruno's on the ball, but he's got Fred to his left. He's got Matic to his right. He's got Wan-Bissaka going on the overlap. He's got options everywhere. And the majority of United's players had options in that first half. I think it looked like Martial was playing with a slight niggle, if I'm honest. But... Overall, a draw at Goodison Park, given what happened last year, the 4-0 humiliation. I'm going to do a video specifically on this tomorrow, probably, comparing what we saw there today to what happened and the changes that Solskjaer has implemented. 1-0 was a fair result. We're unbeaten in eight. We're still well on for a top four finish. And today was a very tough place to go, a tough team. Everton were not at it in the first 45, but they were in the second. And for me, Bruno Fernandes, as I said, he took the game by the scruff of its neck in that first half when we needed him to, and he banged one in. He really is the leader that this team has been lacking. 
He's forcing everybody to improve around him, as I keep repeating, but if he keeps scoring, you have to keep talking about the assets that he's bringing to the table. But I think United will consider that a fair result, a one-all. Let me know who your man of the match was. Was it Bruno Fernandes again? Was it Matic in midfield or maybe Maguire in defence? Let me know what you think. But David De Gea's mistake is certainly the biggest talking point of that game. And I'm not sure what happens next year with United and whether or not De Gea will still be here. Simply because Henderson is there knocking on the door. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. But United won all there against Everson at Goodison Park. Certainly better than the 4-0 last year. But could it have been three points? Let me know what you think in the comments below.